Hey y'all, it's Michael, and my next short story collection I'm going to be reading is There Are Little Kingdoms by Kevin Barry. What I'll do is after I finish each and every single story, I'll let you guys know what I think about each one, and then at the end I'll do a overall thoughts. I've never actually read anything by Kevin Barry, so this should be interesting, so yeah, let's get started. So I just finished the first short story called Atlantic City. Um, it was interesting um what i got from barry's uh writing so far like listen to this sentence just then the air changed a small troop of girls arrived in a battalion of three they had vinegar in them and they roved their dangerous eyes around the have you teas and they were a carnival of hold on this is one this is hard with one hand a carnival of cheap perfumes on young skin and whatever summer was they trap its essence and fizzed with it the habitues developed deeper slouches and their heads went shyly down and they moved back into the shadows if they could but their eyes were uncontrollable and darted up insanely for an eyeful of the of suntan girl and they could, couldn't but wince from the delirious pain of it those sentences really uh stood out to me and just the way he describes things um it's really interesting so, although that first short story i think it's impressive in the sense that his writing was like okay like it's real it piqued my interest all right so i finished the next short story called to the hills um i finished this at the coffee shop so i didn't have a chance to you know record myself so i thought i was like i'm just gonna record this while i do a voiceover so ea voiceover um to the hills is about a group of people basically bed and breakfast i don't want to say like a couple kinda ish as i go on with, with more of these stories um i'm gonna finally grasp more of the writing style and what he's talking about to the hills talks about something like this loneliness i guess you could say um i saw this tweet earlier this week when it was uh i'm on twitter a lot in case you know follow me if you want to see some like stupid stuff and me tweeting about reality tv but I saw this tweet, and sure it's like a copy tweet because I've seen it before. The difference between being lonely and being alone. Um, and that's how I feel. Lonely and you know, you don't, you don't want, you, there's this sadness that comes with it. But then there's this thing about being alone, which I love. I love being alone just by myself. Just this quietness. That's why I have like good headphones so I can just be quiet. I just love this serene, this calmness, just being alone. A lot of people get that confused because they just, they associate that when you are alone that you're lonely, but I am definitely not lonely <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's one thing that I uh, really brought up when I was reading this. I was like, huh, you know, sometimes you just want to be alone, but then sometimes, you know, you don't want to be sleeping next to the bedroom where someone is, you know, having sex but yeah i'm gonna go on to the next story and so far you know i'm really liking it all right so i finished see the tree how big it's grown this is about a man who kind of has like amnesia or some sort of memory issue and it's funny because i just watched um i just finished watching a uh, true detective and this season it's dealing with like memory and uh this short story in particular deals with memory and i really liked it so what i enjoyed most was the way that Barry is able to describe things, but then also this rhythm that it has to it. The way that it's introduced the beats to it, but then something really horrific happens. And also just the way it's uh, it leads up to it and the rhythm to, to get to that point. I was like, oh, it, it, it really took me back. And I was like, what? Um, but the way that Barry's describing things, I, that's what I'm really liking so far about his writing. I just finished the next story called Animal Needs. Uh, this was really interesting. Um, it's about this farmer named John Martin who lives in this like, I guess barn. Well, he he runs a farm, and he's a farmer, and he lives in this town slash village. Uh. But the way that Barry describes the village is so good. He makes it sound so just desolate and just bare and just has this, it's oozing this mood. Kind of see what he's trying to get at, especially with the title 
hence the name um, Animal Needs because it has this story involving um, John Martin but then there's this story involving him with an affair and then him involving his dog and then him involving his daughter and then him involving his wife and then him involving um, the OCB which is kind of like uh, the government uh, it's 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 a lot going on it's a lot I'm on the fence like how I feel about it but overall the the the, just the descriptions. I just finished reading Last Days of the Buffalo. Uh, this is about a character named Folly. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think it was like, ugh. I mean, nothing really, in my opinion, was whoa about it. It has this, um, it's basically we're following Folly as he goes around town, and there's this like underlining thing about um, repetition, but. It, it was yeah. okay. All right. If you hear that, that's uh the ring. Um, my door is open, so it just sounds really good. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna sleep well tonight because I love the sound of ring. Anyways, I just finished reading the short story Ideal Homes. Um, I thought it was okay. Nothing really wow about it. Um, but it's basically about twins D and Donna who just is going around town causing trouble. That's about it. Nothing really stood out for me except I am seeing that. Uh, Barry is writing these towns really well like he in the short amount of time within all the short stories actually he's able to project the um, just give the setting really fast all right so I just finished reading the winter songs um I didn't like it uh, it's about this um, girl who they're on the it's about this girl and this older woman who gets stuck well who's riding a train and the older woman just keeps talking. That's it. Um, I just, I didn't like it. Um, and I think that's from my own experiences because I have experiences where people just come up to me and just start talking. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to converse. I just, I just want to go. All right. I just finished reading Party at Helen's. Um, it was okay. Uh, it's basically about a party and the and there's like a whole bunch of characters. Um, the best part about this was his writing. The way he just described things is just, it's really good. All right, I just finished reading Breakfast Wine. Uh, this one really shows um, Barry's way of just describing everything. Uh, this is a story about the North Star, which is like this bar. Um, and as I'm reading more of his stories, that's his it really is his strength, his descriptions, um, but everything else is just like okay to me. Like the characters are just okay. Um, I do enjoy all of the settings of the small town so far, so that's really great. Um, but did I, this I did like, and that's because the just the descriptions are so strong. All right, so I just finished reading um, "Burn the Bad Lamp." Um, this was pretty okay. It's about a uh, a store worker named Ralph who works at a um it's kind of like a secondhand place and he rubs a lamp and a genie comes out and basically it goes from there um what I did like about it was this different take on your typical three wishes type of thing so I really did like that right, um this one went down really fast so I just finished reading there are little kingdoms the actual short story not the novel um there's two more short stories but the actual short stories there are little kingdoms um i really 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 like this i think this is my favorite so far i think it's the best one hence then that's probably why they chose the name for this short story collection it is really great um it's weird though because i don't exactly know what happened like it's one of those stories where it's up to the reader to decide what happens or like what's going on exactly because it's kind of trippy kind of it's weird. It's really weird, but I really liked it. It's bizarre. His name is Fitz, and I, yeah, I don't really... Now I think about it, his, his name being Fitz kind of can be something... Yeah, I liked it. I really liked it. So yeah, I really liked it. I, it's my favorite short story of the collection so far. Like, I, I, I really liked it. I did finish Nights at the Gin Palace. Uh, I thought this was, was okay. Um, it's about... Well, it's about this daughter and father. It's, it's a lot of things, and the they're basically interaction with the, interacting with each other about this like kind of makeover uh, of like a house. Um, I, what I did enjoy the most about it was like 
this humor uh, i thought it was like there were some parts that were like the dialogue was really funny the last uh, short story on here called the penguins at the coffee shop earlier today um this one was i thought was okay um it's about a like survivors of um an airplane uh and my favorite part was the, um there are connections to the other stories which is always i always enjoy it when um there are there's a story that connects a lot of the other stories in the collection all right so this is going to be my final thoughts on there are little kingdoms by kevin barry overall i gave it three stars on goodreads um i really did quite enjoy it actually what i really enjoyed the most was barry's way of describing things the way he could describe these towns and these small villages in a really short amount of time and give this ambiance about them as a collection it was really cohesive in the way that it is all of these small small irish towns and just how it's he's bringing life into these towns and with these characters that i really did enjoy um but individually i would have to say out of all the short stories um there weren't that many that i would say i would like say go out and read um obviously my favorite one was there are little kingdoms hence the title of the collection that was my favorite i just love the way he described things the thing though is like there are some stories in here that i was like oh okay and the short stories in the beginning like atlantic city was really strong like it set out the tone for the collection overall and like the the ones at the end like uh burn the bad lamp there are little kingdoms um was like a great way to like leave a stamp um but there are i'm not gonna lie the ones in the middle um and towards the beginning i was a little bit more uh, about but i think his writing is so great and i would love to read like a full-on novel of his just because the way he like i said been saying his descriptions are so it's just so rich that i think that's the word to describe it it's just it's it's just rich descriptions um i would love to see what he would be able to do in a full-on novel because i think it would be really great if you read the collection or, or any of the short stories uh in the collection let me know i would love to hear your thoughts uh until then i'll see you guys till the next short story collection bye